Should the Chargers have kept Phillip Rivers as their quarterback? You know, honestly, uh, after that many years of not winning a Super Bowl, and I mean, he was close. There he were was. there were years. There were years I can see right here um, from what I can remember in 2007. He went to the, the AFC Championship. Freaking torn ACL, too. Yeah. What a boss. Yeah. AFC Championship game against the Patriots. They lost. Um, there were a couple times that they played the Colts and they beat him in the playoffs. Uh, that was 2000 and I believe uh, 2008 or 2009. Two, yeah. 2008, they had that upset against the Colts. I yeah. remember that. They had two upsets against the they Colts. They did. I think there was two of them. I just can't really remember off the top. We'll fact check that in a minute. Um, but I do think that after this many years of of being, you know, with the Chargers, and there's some seasons, there's a lot of the seasons he didn't really make the postseason. You know, there's a lot of seasons where he didn't really make the postseason either. He's a solid quarterback, but... I do think this guy ha- has had weapons. I'm not saying he hasn't. I think he has. I think he's had, you know, Danny Woodhead. He's had, um, you know, uh, Michael. What was it Malcolm Floyd? Malcolm Floyd, um, Vincent Keenan, Jackson, Keenan Allen, F- Vincent Jackson. You know, Antonio Gates. So he ha- he's had talent around him, and he's had plenty of opportunities. I mean, he's had Darren Sproles when Darren Sproles is like, you know, a monster. So he's had. He's had he's had talent around him, so that, there's no excuse. I just I do think the Chargers, whether they got Brady or not, I think they needed a change of scenery. I really do. Um, they're moving to a new stadium. It's a new era for the Chargers, and and now that they didn't get Brady, which I I thought that I thought, I thought I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to see that. I wanted to see him play with Eckler and Allen and Mike Williams and all of them. Um, I think it was a good move. Plus, Rivers is not getting any younger. I mean, he's a veteran in the league. Um, I think it was a pretty good move. Um, and I, honestly, I think it was a good move for Phillip Rivers, too, because I feel like he has an opportunity to go play somewhere else, a different system in Indianapolis. Um, I, I think I think it was a pretty solid, solid move. Now, here's, a, here's one question I wanted to ask you. Yes, sir. Do you think Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. That's a tough one. That's the toughie. You know, I'm big with the Hall of Fame being the Hall of Fame and not the Hall of Really Good. Because whenever people retire in the NFL, and it's a good player that retires, for instance, Jamal Charles. When he retired a couple years ago, a lot of people were saying, like, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer. Guys, I understand he was good, and he was good for that era. Maybe you could talk about Marshawn Lynch being that category and that running back as well. But... I'm big on the elite of the elite make it to the Hall of Fame. Philip Rivers, for me, you mentioned the stats, and in, even just from the eye test, he's borderline. He's he's great, but is he like really great? Is he at that level to make it to the Hall of Fame? Some quarterbacks that are playing right now, obviously Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, I think they're going to go into the Hall of Fame. I, I think the way that the media is, and voting for the Hall of Fame, if he doesn't win that Super Bowl, he's not going to get in. I agree with you. I agree with you. And I, I had this debate with many people, but I, I don't. I don't think Rivers is a Hall of Famer. I, I think in order to be in the Hall of Fame, and and this is kind of why like Big Ben is going to go. But I feel like you need to have a Super Bowl MVP. I feel like you need to have a regular season MVP. Like like not not all together, guys. Like I'm not saying you're supposed to have all of this, but at least one. You know, and, and like you look at Dan Marino, like I'm sure has has he had an MVP? He's had MVPs. He hasn't had a yeah. Super Bowl. So if he's been an MVP of the league, obviously that's kind of the reasons why I feel like he's eligible for it, even though he hasn't won a Super Bowl. So guys, I, I don't necessarily think you need to win a Super Bowl, but you need to be like you need to look back at Philip Rivers and be like, okay, were you the best quarterback in the league at one point at all? Because you weren't, and 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 you know it's debatable. The, I mean, I mean, these seasons. I mean, was he was he ever an MVP candidate? That's the thing. What I'm looking at, like, I, Rivers, I think know? there was one year in 2008. Um, he was actually snubbed from the Pro Bowl that year. Okay. Um, I think the play, they eventually gave it to Peyton Manning. Um, but it was like Kurt Warner and Philip Rivers were also candidates. There were just so many better candidates than Peyton Manning when the MVP. Yeah. Um, he was a Pro Bowl snub for sure. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it was it was. I, I don't. He's a good quarterback. Like, like what I, what I, what I like. I mean, what I say, he's definitely a Pro Bowler. Like, absolutely. Like, but I don't, I don't think that he's on the Hall of Fame on that Hall of Fame level. Like with Brady, you know, Breeze, Peyton, 
you know, Rodgers, like you just mentioned, I, I don't think he's on that level. And, 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 and you know, he, the only way he's going to get it, because look at his draft class. Big Ben has a ring. Eli Manning's got Super Bowl MVP. You know, go get one. Go get one with Indy. Then, you know, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be eligible, in my opinion. We'll see if that is the case with uh, Indianapolis. I mean, I know that Philip Rivers didn't have a choice. At that point, the Chargers decided just to move on with him. I thought he was going to go to the Bucks. Did you? Yeah, I, I mean, Rivers it's... was going to go to the Bucks. He moved to Tampa Bay. I feel, and I feel like I thought Tom was going to go to the Chargers, but it's weird, man. I don't know. It is weird. It seems like a lot of uh, old uh, father quarterbacks are leaving their families behind yeah. and going to different states. Yeah.